Oh hi, Sawman here. And I just made 400,000 runes doing absolutely nothing. I just completely cheesed the boss and got loads of runes and it's dead easy. And do you know what? If you want to know how, leave a like and subscribe and I'll get back to you in the next video. A joke, I'm going to tell you right now, but you know, maybe if you do want to like and subscribe, this is the video to do it on. But anyway, let's not like take too long on this because I just want to show you how to do this in the quickest way possible. So let's go. So in order to be able to do this exploit, you need to have killed Godric the Grafted first. Once you've done that, head over to the Blood Church, which is in the middle of the lake. Once there, you'll meet up with this creepy dude who's going to give you five bloody fingers. In order to progress the quest, you're going to have to do three invasions. It doesn't matter if you win or lose them, you just have to complete them. You can access them by going into your inventory, clicking on one and then clicking use. I would suggest doing this at the Church of Ella because this seems to be the most active area. And then what will happen is you'll get thrown into an invasion where you're likely to get sweated down by three different people. Maybe it's just a PC thing, but I don't know. These people seem quite sweaty tryhards. I mean, I don't actually understand why there's three of them and there's only one of me. It's really making me question the PvP here. Um, I'm just going to play this clip out just so you can see how bad it was. Like, look at this. What is this fuck? What the actual fucky fuck is going on? Anyway, um, as you can see, I lost, but as I said, do this three times and then you can progress the quest. Uh, ready for the taunting? Oh, yeah, cool. Cool, I'm down bad. Yep. What a bunch of twats. After three goes, you'll be anointed and given a rag. You don't have to take that rag north to the Church of Inhibition. I'll show you where that is. Once you get there, there'll be a statue with a bloody rag. Just collect that. You then yo-yo back down, go back to the bloody church, give the bloody rag to your mate, who then gives you a bloody finger again. But wait, there's more. Once he's given you the finger, finish your dialogue, and then you have to speak to him again, and then he'll give you a medallion. When you use this medallion, it will transport you to a faraway place, and from there, that's where the fun begins. I'll put this on two times speed so you don't have to wait around all day to see where I go, but essentially, grab the map, and you want to head all the way to the top of that mountain. You can grab the grace point as well, so if you do die, it's not that far to run back. But just avoid all these, don't worry, just keep running. Go all the way up the hill, grab the shit as you go past, and eventually you got to come to a cave. Before you enter, just make sure you stick your torch on so you can actually see where you're going. Or lamp. Stick to the right hand side. That's all you want to do. Stick to the right. Just ignore everything, run up, keep right, and eventually you'll get out of this. Grab the item as well on your way past. Keep running, just keep running. Just keep running, just keep running. There we go. And uh, there's daylight. Just need to get through here without dying. Oh, don't mind me. And touch some grass. Boom. We're out. Keep following the path around until you come to a lift. Ignore those guys there. You don't want to touch them. And the lift's going to take you to basically a boss battle. Now, because this is me and I'm shit at the game, we're not going to fight the boss, we're going to cheese it. But the first thing you have to do is you have to die to the boss. I know, horrible, right? But let's be honest, I was never going to beat it anyway. Respawn back at the stake of America, and then listen to what I say here. You need to get completely naked, drop everything, butt naked, runes and all, get rid of everything. And then you need to jump across this bit here. And now there is an easy way to do it, so just ignore this bit, I was being an idiot and didn't actually take anything off, but here's the pro jump. Now, listen carefully. Because you need to do a run and jump and you can't run and jump because it's just a small bit, you have to jump in a particular way. So what you want to do is when you actually get up there, you want to jump on the spot, but as you're in the air, hold the sprint button and keep hold of it. That way, when you do go and try and jump across, you'll automatically be running. So I'm holding it now, I'm aiming for that corner, and with a little bit of luck, I'm across and I don't die. I don't run too far. So remember, jump on the spot or hold and sprint in the air. When you land, make sure sprint's still held down and then jump across. Once you have done that, put your clothes on and then you need to go around and you can fight the boss and he will not fight back. He's stuck in some sort of weird suspended animation. So you can just sit there and wail on him as much as you want. If you have a silver or gold pickled foul foot, make sure to use this before you kill the boss to get that added bonus. I didn't because I'm an idiot. I know. 
I know. Trust me. I'm feeling the pain right now. So, kill it, get your runes, and then you can spend them on whatever you'd like. This boss drops a few good stuff. Um, they drop a remembrance, which you can trade in for a weapon. If you're not sure how to do that, check out my video in the top right corner. And also another rune. And with that, that's the end of the video. I hope that helps you along your Elden Ring journey. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you know anything else like this that also works. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Right, I'm off to spend some more runes. Peace. Oh hi, Doggo here. Did you know that we now have channel membership? Sign up today. In return I will give you emojis. As a member you can also get special access to the Discord, where you are allowed to speak in the I Paid To Be Here channel. If you don't sign up, I'll find your nan and spit on her. Doggo out.